Good Saturday morning still, 11.31 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, date 5-7-2011. It is a wonderful Saturday, as on Saturdays, we like to get together and take our time with the MMTs to explain that weekly reversal that we talked about last week. What I'm going to do is simply take this part of the chart, and I'm going to show where the standard public technical analysis works as far you know as far as they, how they make decisions we said that there was going to be a reversal a week ago and then prior to that it was just around the corner that's on stockmarketfunding.com website go look and watch them and view them and rate them rate the truth so basically we do have a five day weekly reversal because we do on the Dow Jones and when we had called the reversals back over here in these months, these months were back in February, we said there was going to be a correction and we had a four week correction. It's on the stockmarketfunding.com home site there. Hit the search box for indexes and you'll see. So we made the bottom here and we rallied up and we made another higher high and that's what that's how bull trends operate anyway in the public model. That's great. So and our market maker daily model is knowing where the high end of the Dow component would be in all 30 of those stocks. Um, and it, for the most part, is that they were selling from the top down. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had the weekly contraction. How far it goes, we don't know. And all that we said was it was time to be making money on the short side. And jobs report came out, and we got a pop right off of this last weekly up bar. So if we gap down below next week and we run lower on a daily chart, here's the daily chart of the Dow. Here is exactly where we called these tops in this reversal on a daily. So you had a narrow range day one, two, three, and four. Five days from the top right here. One narrow range, two narrow range, then three, four, and Jobs Friday was right here. They sold into the simple standard technical analysis, which is a 10-day simple moving average. That's how the public makes their decisions. Big money, institutional investors, hedge fund managers, way people way up, way up there. So we understand that by using our platform. The, the key is, does the Dow continue to sell off like it did over here? Reversal one, rally one, reversal two. Does reversal, we would have to see a daily gap down, a sell through that 20 day simple moving average on a daily, as far as a daily tape goes. If we can, and we'll take a look at the SMF yearly Dow formula, and we have the Dow Jones formula over here. So I'm going to pull that over here on a different monitor. It's a yearly formula that's done in January, it doesn't change for the whole year. And it's on indexes that we specialize in, and they work. So the high of the cycle on the Dow here was, let's take a look, 12876, it looks like. And the narrow range reversal here was 1284. Okay, so right here, you already had a reversal 12876. Here you had the reversal on the daily. The high was only 1284. Then the high here was only 12806 on the high. So it looks like to me that the daily highs were gapping down and staying contracted, which meant that there was more weakness. Just like this, the high here was 12724. Okay, so there was a gap down sequence, no matter how you look at it. So what we're going to watch for on the Dow to confirm it is we're going to have a gap down bar. This is how their narrow range correction started over here when we called for it. Then we rallied up. Um, if we don't gap down below this bar and then have some heavier selling in a red bar, that means that the pullback that we are calling for is contracting and not expanding. There's a difference between an expansion pullback. That's where the pullbacks are much greater in depth. So far in 2011, we just made those highs where we said there was a correction around the corner. We're in phase one. Phase two could be you could pop back up and test the high or put in another high. Remember, earnings season is just about going to get to the tail end of things. Uh, QE2 is coming off the plate. Look. 
they're bringing oil down they're doing lots of things to try to keep that bull move in play like we always say certain things get overbought at certain times they have to have the pullback so on the Dow Jones we're going to be looking for a gap down bar below the 20 day moving average and stop market orders and margin requirements are at all time high levels we will see if we sell through the 20 day moving average down all the way down here to the 50 day moving average on the Dow so we'll take a look and see what happens if we do get a sell through here then we know that this first five day price action is very weak rather the bounce being robust we will let the SMF MMT platform guide us our way because we will and the Dow is that we've already contracted all right and that's over here so let's just take a look at where we're at the closing price the last print that I have on the Dow Jones is uh, 12638 uh, up 54 handles on the day that's going to put us 12.638 there it is one and three eighths up okay we came down we bounced up off the bottom on jobs Friday number but we're still positive one and three eighths on the Dow using the SMF pricing model net net we don't we price out net net movement so it's 5.1 percent uh, 5.11 percent here now 5.11 up in our platform on the closing price so we're still positive one and three eighths Delta it's just that we're not as high as those other numbers that I had read to you those other numbers were way up here almost two full deltas on the Dow would be 129132 12, I'm sorry 12913.82 okay so we have contracted already from the positive delta down that's delta reversal delta weakness in the SMF platform which I don't have up on the screen but the MMTs you're looking at monitor number one you know what I'm talking about and these are index formulas and reversals now what we're going to find out is from this reversal here is it just a simple five-day reversal with breaking out of making higher highs yes we could go higher and some of the numbers would be Two and one eighth would be twelve nine sixty nine point six five. A two full delta movement is going to be a twelve nine one three point eight two. That's positive two point oh oh market maker platform ratio and two point one three. Okay, and that would mean that the Dow would be up seven point four three percent and the higher number would be seven point nine zero percent. However, in short term cycles we get to overbought areas on this particular daily overbought area it was about 93.22 the previous day it shot to 94 that means that the short term trend is going to have a reversal to as what length that will have would be the gap down the sell through the stop market orders all kinds of various other exchange model mechanics that happen within the public transaction tape will be determined as to what ratio degree of this reversal will come into play and or to the breakout to the upside that's the Dow Jones daily the Dow Jones weekly reversal here Dow Jones weekly five-day reversal that we said correction corrections work in five days this one here I mean weekly this one here was one week two week three week four weeks we called that top back here it's, and, and we said the same thing now what this one starts out to be is that you can notice that this one here was more of a sell than on a weekly level on the Dow than it really took out that narrow range week high right here it sure did not only that it's the mechanical things that the public doesn't know in the transaction that keeps them stuck and never seem to get them anywhere they do at times but price volatility remains elevated between five nine of 2011 today's five seven but when Monday's trading until the end of the summer we're going to see increased volatility across all exchanges 
That means that great trading opportunities for SMF MMTs, both long and short, using call and puts, have great advantages by understanding where the net trend in the, in, in the five-day reversal and the weekly that we called. And then if there's a flip side to the breakout side, then we'll immediately move. So moving forward on Monday, we have to gap down on the daily, sell through the moving averages, take people out, create some margin debt selling like they did in silver. How about that? 